So hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and you join me on episode 3 of my van build. Uh, now just before I started this video um, off camera I put the roof box on. Uh, so essentially what the first thing I'm going to do today is I've got this uh, decking which will be going between sort of the roof box and the other side of the roof rack. Uh, so I'm going to crack on with that. So please enjoy the video. Burn the Okay, so let me briefly explain what I've been doing. So, here's the decking. I've drilled holes in the roof rack um, and then essentially cut a thread into those so I can bolt these uh, decking boards to the roof rack. So I've done that for four pieces and then drilled through here and just countersunk those holes as well. Uh, I'm just gonna paint a little bit of this sort of anti-rust paint in there as well just to stop the rust getting into where the bolts are gonna be in case it does. Uh, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna crack on. So the deck is finally secured, uh, it's making it obviously a lot easier to walk up here. It's a place for me to store the surfboard, but also as just easy sort of access and loading bay for everything, everything that's going to be stored in the roof box. Okay, so I'm going to briefly explain what the next job is. Um, essentially my plan eventually is to just above here have a projector that will sort of have a screen that's over there. Um, and for that, I'm obviously going to need a HDMI, so I'm going to wire the HDMI in. But I also found these on Amazon, which are essentially like a little sort of HDMI port. So that will obviously be in the sort of tongue groove here, where I can just plug in a short HDMI straight from a laptop or whatever. Um, and then out the back will come this sort of um, more hard-wearing HDMI that will be fully wired in up to about here, where the projector should be. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so my plan now is I'm basically going to bring in all of the sort of, um, I guess, infrastructure for it really. So like the uh, jerry cans, the fridge, the batteries, all of that, and basically just work out exactly where it's going to go. Um, so I just have a sort of better idea of how the layout is going to work, where the framing can get laid down. Um, and yeah, and that's going to just be sort of marked out by masking tape really. So that's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm hoping now that this will make a little bit more sense. So, I've got the two jerry cans here. The reason why I've got those close to the door is so that I can sort of open some panels here um, and, and just take those out. Then, obviously, we have the fridge here. Now, I might potentially move this further this way to allow uh, this section of stuff to come further this way as well. Um, however, for the time being, I'm just going to leave it there. The idea is that I can have some drawers that will pull out in sort of this space here. The batteries at the bottom, there'll be a little platform then which the gas will sit on and be fixed in. And then obviously the gas lines will run to where the cooker will be, which will be about here. I'm planning to have sort of like a stack of sort of drawers, uh, again, at the same height as the worktop. But the bottom one will actually be a flap that you'll pull in and then you'll have your access to all of my electrics. So there's the inverter and, and the solar thing, just so you can kind of see what's going on. And then this is kind of the rough floor plan. So this is what I my idea for the sort of L shape sofa. And then this square you can see here is what would pull out from there. And then this section here, 
from there to there which is essentially be a unit that will come up to about here then I have all my plugs and everything there and then I'll have cupboards up there. I'm pretty happy with the general layout obviously while I'm still in the process of deciding that I'm confident about this so I'm going to begin doing the sort of bones and the sort of framework for this so sort of the base, the straps that are going to come up and how they're going to connect on there because that can sort of just be a loose piece of wood that comes in and out so I'm going to crack on with that but I don't have much time. <laughs> Before I go any further with the general sort of framework uh, for this, I'm just going to basically uh, board off this now and do all the insulation behind it. But obviously, I'm going to cut it quite sort of trim, sort of in here, um, and obviously round that a little bit as well. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so um, that's all now sort of uh, all cleaned up down the bottom because it was pretty dirty. And in these two bags, I've got some fiberglass sort of loft insulation from the old van. Um, quite often in sort of like conversion videos, you'll see people using all this like silver foil and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not using that because what they don't tell you is it's really, really expensive. Um, so I'm not going to bother with that because um, it essentially just does the same stuff like that as that. Um, so yeah, I'm just basically just going to stuff it all in there and then we'll put this piece of wood on top and at a later date I might potentially paint it, but we don't need to worry about that for now. Okay, so where I got up to uh, last time I was working on the van was this section here, um, which is starting to take shape. What I think I'm going to do now is put sort of a middle beam in here because obviously the floor, the the, the sofa bit is going to run up to about there. So I'm going to put a beam in there because that's where all some door hinges and everything else, and maybe a drawer and stuff will operate from. So I'm going to crack on with that now, um, shaping up a few bits of wood and basically just building the sort of internal structure that we are on here. There'll probably be a back bit of wood on there as well. So I'm going to crack on with that. There we go, I'm hoping this would make more sense now so you can see how that basically fits into there, like that, and the same here, like that, like that. Okay, so this is where we're up to at the moment with this unit. Um, obviously we've got the structures on the front now, and we'll put these two in here. Now essentially what's going to happen is there's going to be a worktop sat on here that'll be on hinges on this back part, so that when you lift it up, I've got three sort of shallow um, storage areas. This will have like batteries and just basically loose crap. So this will lift up. So what I'm going to do now is essentially put the 12 mil ply on the underside of this. So I'm just measuring that up now and we're going to put that on. Okay, so just while the camera was charging um, off camera basically, I've put in back brace here, 
a little bit there um, and then also two pieces at the bottom so that we can put the dividers basically between where the cupboards and drawers are going to be um, but I've ran out of this 9mm ply so I'm just going to run to B&Q and get some more now <laughs> Okay, so hopefully now this is making a little bit more sense. So we've got two spaces here. This will be a cupboard accessible sort of from the bottom half, but this side will be a drawer that pulls out this way. Um, this is part of the cupboard, that's part of the cupboard that will obviously have a door going this way. Um, and then these bits will be blocked off because um, they will be sort of accessed from the back to here and from here all the way back round past the wheel arch as well. Um, so now I'm just going to rattle my brain a bit and figure out what I want to do next uh, and potentially also order some bits and pieces that I'm going to need as well. So I'm going to crack on with that. <laughs> Okay, so here you can see what I've done. I've just basically cut these holes in. Um, so obviously this will be, this will have a board on it. This will have a board on it because obviously the bed is going to come to here anyway. So I won't be able to access that. Um, and the cushions will be here. So I might potentially put another hole in here. Don't really know. But essentially from the back, this is just rough storage to go in and out. And obviously you've got the wheel arch here as well. What I'm going to do now is quickly just screw this onto the back there. And then I'm going to call it a day. My plan today is that I'm going to probably order some cupboard fronts that will go on here just to save myself some time. Um, so I'm going to measure those up. But then what I'm actually going to do uh, is to begin building the frame for the cupboard, which is going to sit around sort of this area um, or at least get the front on as well. So I can start measuring up the back of it. But that's pretty much going to run from the back here to the third batten there. And then it will run all the way length and it will cover about an area like that. So that's what I'm going to crack on with now. Okay, so the basic frame for um, this overhead cupboard is now done. We've got a uh, 9mm ply on the bottom, a little divider here as well. Now, the loom protector for the sort of all the electrics, like rear lights and everything, is all still here. And I'm thinking that what I'll do is eventually this will all probably be carpeted, so the actual trim of all this stuff doesn't really matter too much. Um, so it's a little bit rough in it, on places, but obviously it'll all be covered with auto carpet. So it'll look much better in the end, but pretty pleased with the result uh, and it's really sturdy as well. So decent, decent covers now done. Thank you. 